There are several general concepts related to programming languages that are important for you to know, such as low and high level languages, machine language, assembly, compile, interpret, and the difference between various language paradigms that have been used in the past and present, such as procedural, functional, and object-oriented, as well as the specific languages that fit into those categories. The term low level indicates a language easy for the computer to understand and execute, written in machine code or assembly. High level indicates code that a human can easily understand, but that must be translated into machine language to be executed by the computer. Machine code was the original low level language. When the programmer would stand in front of a very large computer, consisting of rows and rows of switches that controlled electronic signals and circuits, flipping the switches on or off according to the program being set up. A very tedious process indeed. Assembly was one step above machine language and made it easier to express computer programs, using an assembler to convert it into machine code for the computer. Since assembly emerged, many high-level languages have been developed and used over the years. Here are just a few. These high-level languages all need to be translated into machine code, and there are two general ways to do this, interpret or compile. An interpreted language program is translated and executed line by line. For example, you could think of translating a conversation from Spanish to English by interpreting each spoken sentence one at a time. A compiled language program is translated all at once and then executed. Like taking a complete document written in one language, translating the entire paper into another language, and then reading it in the new language. Among the high-level languages that were developed over the years, three unique flavors, or paradigms, evolved. Procedural, functional, and object-oriented. Procedural languages were the first to develop, often referred to as structured programming, or imperative languages, and are characterized by the use of procedures that contain step-by-step -step instructions. For the most part, loops were used to iterate processes. Among these languages were Fortran, COBOL, Pascal, and C. From the math world, where functions rule the roost, the functional paradigm developed, where there was more interest in the process and the result of a function, given some data, and where recursion was the primary way to iterate processes. Lisp, Haskell, and Scheme were among the many languages that fit into this category. The latest paradigm to emerge was object-oriented programming, where the focus was on the data and where the actions and data were all bundled together in objects, defined in classes using abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism as key features of the process. C++, Java, and Python are still in use as the primary languages that fit this mold. Let's explore a few of these languages in more detail. Fortran was developed in the 1950s by John Backus, admitting his laziness for dealing with the tedium of low-level programming. It exploded onto the scientific and engineering scene, revolutionizing the programming world of that day, and has been in continuous use for over half a century. The business world found Fortran awkward and unsuitable to use for their applications, and so COBOL was developed in the late 50s and early 60s under the leadership of Grace Hopper. In 1964, BASIC was developed at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire and proved to be a very easy language to learn and use, the first language for many young programmers, including yours truly, on the old Commodore 64 computer. Those were the days. Pascal was developed in the late 60s by Nicholas Wirth to serve as a strong teaching language, enforcing good structural and design habits. It was the original language of the Computer Science AP test, which was first offered in 1984. C and C++ came along in the 1970s, and gradually replaced Pascal as the prominent general purpose language, further developing object-oriented programming as a new design paradigm, replacing the older procedural and functional programming approaches. In 1999, the CSAP test switched to C++ as the language on which the exam was based. Java emerged in the early 90s, developed by a team of Sun Microsystems engineers led by James Gosling, and has developed into one of the most popular languages of the present day. In 2003, the College Board switched to Java as the language for the AP test. The most significant feature of Java is that it is not compiled into machine language, but rather into bytecode, 
or portable code, very close to machine language, which is then translated by each computing device according to its own architecture and operating system. This is achieved by the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM, customized for each separate device by the manufacturer of that device, according to its own inner workings. The JVM has revolutionized the computing world to the point that Java-based applications are everywhere. The Python language was named in honor of Monty Python's Flying Circus, a favorite British TV show of author Guido von Rossum of the Netherlands, and supports several paradigms, including procedural, functional, and object-oriented. In summary, be aware of all of these programming language concepts and characteristics, understanding the differences between low and high level, assembly and machine language, compiled and interpreted, procedural, functional, and object-oriented paradigms, and know about some of the more prominent languages that have been used over the years.